Hello everyone. I'm so excited about today's video because if you have had challenges in relationships, I say this is for everyone, but especially the ladies, especially the ladies. So ladies, if you have had connections with men or have dated men and you have felt totally ghosted on or just done wrong or feel like you've had a breakup that you didn't deserve, then you want to listen to this video. And I am so excited that I can share what I'm about to share with you guys because it was only some uh, years ago that I would have been the one listening to what I am going to be sharing today. So this actually comes from uh, a Facebook friend of mine. She messaged me and uh, one day on my Facebook page and said, hey, I'm going through this situation. I dated this man for a few months. We had a really amazing connection. And then basically he just ghosted on her, totally disconnected, no communication, no explanation. And honestly, she's pretty tore up about it. And I'm like, ooh, ooh, so much I wanna share, so much I wanna share. And <sighs> I can relate because I've been there. And so this video isn't going to break down the psychological why. I'm not going to get into the, the psychological analysis of why men or, you know, people can do this. This video is really going to be shared in the spirit of really supporting you in changing your reality taking massive action, giving you a spiritual but loving butt kick, and really supporting you and elevating yourself to where you're not attracting in situations like this. So let me share with you guys a little bit about my background. So quite some years ago, I would say really all in my 20s and my early 30s, depending on which year it was, I could have been on the other side of this video camera. I could have been the one that was literally the one writing in and seeking some sort of support or advice or insight like, why did this happen? I'm such a good person. Like, I really cared about him or we had so much fun together. Like, why would he treat me like that? And I can't tell you how many, probably years, honestly, <laughs> of my life I wasted doubting myself making myself wrong, and always looking to me, but not in an empowering way as to why something would happen. So it was after I hired a relationship coach and a woman who uh, really supported me in healing my uh, chakras and coming to understand the masculine and the feminine in a deeper way, that I actually stopped creating these situations and now I have an amazing relationship, yada yada, the rest is history. But it's not about that. So I actually want to really share with you guys who have been, uh, you know, maybe faced with this, some support. So first things first, hear me on this. You might actually want to get some uh, pen and paper to actually literally take notes because I'm going to be sharing with you like really like the nuggets of wisdom that really took me from being that that girl, that woman, into someone who has an incredibly healthy and loving and supportive relationship. And you can too, because it's what you deserve. So first things first, it's not you. It's not. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that the man you dated was horrible, awful, and wrong. I don't want to go there. Although, Maybe. Uh, it just means that like he wasn't a fit for you. And of course we could get into like, well, what was his childhood like? And what are his inner child wounds? And you know, what was the cycle of intimacy and all this head trippy shit, to be honest with you, that's just gonna get you going down the rabbit hole of seeking perfection, thinking there's something wrong with you and trying to get him back, which is bullshit. The only thing from my point of view to do in these situations where you feel like you got the short end of the stick, is to thank the universe for getting someone out of your universe that was not on your same page and was not worthy of you and to love yourself that much more. Pour so much self-love into you that you don't attract that kind of man again. So for instance, in my early 30s, you know, I would come across men, we'd have these amazing connections, and then, you know, two weeks later, a month later, or two months later, you know, they might, you know, shoot me a text or have a phone call or have a date to where they're like, I'm just not feeling it. 
you know, and it would happen over and over and over again. And there's a lot of deeper reasons for that, you know, both on their part and my part. But at the end of the day, me trying to figure it out never empowered me. Me trying to figure it out, honestly, just made me feel like shit and didn't do anything to actually change the type of man I was calling in. What actually did change was when I raised my standard, when I made myself a priority, when I was willing to heal and look at whatever I needed to, to really attract in quality, conscious, kind people in my life that should they change your mind, they're gonna have a loving conversation with me. So this isn't about someone, you know, not having their their choice in it all and perhaps deciding to end a relationship. It's really in how is someone treating you and how are they going about that? And so first things first, stop trying to figure it out. If someone has hurt you, honestly, chalk it up to bye. It's that simple. It really is that simple. And your mind wants to figure it out. And rather than spending your precious energy on trying to figure it out, spend your precious energy on up-leveling, elevating, and healing yourself so your life becomes more amazing. And you're going to look back and be like, thank God they left my life, you know? And so really, step number one, don't try to figure it out. Don't try to figure him out. If someone chose not to be with you, let it go. A queen does not chase a man. I'm going to say that again. A queen does not chase a man. And even if you don't feel like a queen, ladies, you are. That is who you be. And so first things first, not chasing a man. Secondly, but the connection was so amazing. It was awesome. Yeah, and it takes way more than just an awesome sexual connection or an awesome, you know, uh, chemical connection to really sustain something healthy and thriving. At the end of the day, what really matters is how is he treating you? And if he left you in a way that has left you bruised and hurt, then he's not the man for you and you deserve way more and you definitely don't need to be spending your energy on trying to figure him out. It's like, peace. So the third thing is, is loving yourself. So what the heck does that mean? You might be like, okay, I'm gonna love myself, but what does that mean? So what it means is doing any and everything you can to really authentically realize and know what a gift you are. So start taking some yoga classes to get in touch with yourself. You know, maybe, uh, you know, have some energy healings. These are just things I've done like yoga, energy healings, hiring a coach. I realize not everyone, you know, maybe has the income to hire a coach. You know, seek out some awesome girlfriends that always have your back and, and see you in your highest potential. You know, really surround yourself with people that hold you high and see you in a positive light rather than the people who are really just gonna play to your victim and like feeling sorry for you in a disempowering sort of way. So, you know, loving yourself could be everything from, you know, buying a favorite, you know, uh, positive, positive book to, you know, uh, taking baths to yoga to energy healings to hiring someone to support you and, you know, maybe healing an emotional pattern behind this. Maybe you've had, you know, wounding in your childhood or when you first began dating that is playing out now. I know I did. And that's why I hired my coach at the time that I did because it was really supportive and getting me past that pattern, you know, and really just taking care of you. I like to, you know, suggest to the people that I work with to keep a gratitude journal about yourself and your life. So every morning waking up and for five minutes writing about all the things that you love about yourself and you're grateful for and all the things that you love about your life and you're grateful for. So you really start feeling more and more amazing. And then lastly, although I could probably share 101 things in this video to, uh, to, to support you in a situation like that, but we'll just keep it to these today. Lastly is take your time. Now, I never thought I'd be saying this because I was the queen of instant connection. Like literally, I could meet someone at night and be like, oh my God, it's an amazing connection. It's karma, it must be a past life thing. And a lot of times the things that had like a ton of sparks and were instant overnight, 
I'll be honest, they fizzled out, they led to drama, and I have a theory about that, not proven of course, that really that crazy over the top like sexual energy just means you have a shit ton of karma with this person and you might wanna run far away. <laughs> and so with that said, take your time. My boyfriend that I've been with for the last year, we got to know each other for three months. There was no intimacy, it was purely friendship. And also, like our connection, although it was really strong, got to grow. I got to see him show up. I got to know that like he wasn't getting anything from me, you know? Like we really established this organic connection that was mutual for a pretty long period of time before we began dating. And I had never actually had that before. I was always, you know, one to really want to connect quickly and not wait and all this kind of stuff. And so I'm not saying that you need to take three months, but what I am saying is if you have a habit of, you know, really telling your someone your life story overnight or like, you know, sleeping with them right away, try something different. Change it up. Not because what you're choosing is bad or wrong, but just try something different to get a different result. See where it leads you. Can't hurt, right? Because the thing is, if someone wants you, they're going to be there. If someone values you, they're going to be there. If someone is hungry for you, they're going to be there. And you're not going to need to do any t tricks or techniques or play any games to, to keep them or get them interested. It's just that clear. Ladies, I want to remind you that men all throughout history have literally started wars because of women, ended wars because of, because of women. They have sailed around the world to literally find the woman of their dreams. I mean, if you just look throughout history, and I'm no history buff, but I definitely remember different stories I learned in school along the way to where I'm like, whoa, like, like a warrior did that for some queen he wanted? Like, oh my God, you know? And I'm thinking, God, I really need to change up the way I'm dating. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, this isn't about, you know, making, you know, you, the men you're dating or your boyfriends or potential men you might date jump through hoops. It's not about that. It's about just really realizing that you are a gift. And first and foremost, it is your really responsibility to understand this, to recognize this within yourself. And then also to let yourself be honored by the people who choose to see that in you. Not everyone's gonna necessarily see that, and that's okay. You know, like I have a boyfriend who loves me and cherishes me and respects me, and I have men in my past that never did, and that's okay. And luckily, it all led to now, which has allowed me to really support women with this challenge because I know it comes up for you ladies. And it can be brutal when it does. You can be, it can leave you really wondering what's wrong with you and nothing, really nothing. Nothing's wrong with you. Now, of course, that doesn't mean that, you know, uh, growing and learning and becoming your best self isn't, isn't the journey that that's up for you. But it does mean that you didn't do anything to deserve that treatment and you know, and, and really with using these, these uh, things that I shared in this video, you can begin to change your reality when it comes to dating. And so I love you guys. I hope this supports you. I'm sure this is a little bit different than, you know, other maybe insight or advice that's been shared with you before. But, you know, really I see the whole trying to figure him out, trying to figure it out as just a way of wasting a lot of time and energy when it's this simple. All that matters is how someone treats you. You are a gift, you deserve the best, and if someone has chose to walk away, love yourself enough to move on. Move on to yourself, honoring you, and then allowing the right person to come into your life who's going to treat you in a way that would never allow that to happen. And if for some weird off chance it happens, still knowing that it has nothing to do with you. It's their choice, their reality, their dream, their illusion that they're playing out and not taking things personally is really a, a key to having freedom in your love life. So I love you guys. If you like this video, if this supported you, please share it. I would love for more women to hear this. And of course, if you like it, subscribe, all that good stuff and leave me some ideas for other things that you'd love to see. I'll see you guys soon.